So hi, hello and welcome again. Microbe Hunter here. Look at this microscope. Isn't it a beauty? It's the Atius X uh, microscope from the company Euromax. You might already know that I teamed up uh, with that company. I would like to thank them for having sent me this microscope because today in this video I'm going to do um, another review of this microscope. I'm going to show you the different parts and yes, it is a pretty big device. <laughs> it's uh, probably a little bit bigger than what most hobbyists or amateur microscopists uh, probably are going to consider because the target group of this microscope is actually probably more the research area uh, but advanced hobbyists might still like it quite a bit because yeah it's not only a good quality but because of its fairly large size it's also very comfortable for long-term um, observation so if you're sitting many hours behind the microscope then the big devices are usually much more comfortable and convenient so in this video I'm going to of course show you the different features of the microscope um, and then uh, towards the end of the video we're going to put again specimen um, or two under the microscope because this one over here is configured to have phase contrast and that's actually quite nice because uh, with phase contrast we're able to see certain details that we would otherwise not be able to see. So um, I'm going to simply step you through the different uh, different features right now. You're going to start off uh, right away with probably one of the most important features and that is the revolving nose piece here. Uh, depending on uh, the configuration you can either connect five or six uh, objectives. In my case I've uh, five objectives connected a four times a 10 times a 20 times a 40 times and a hundred times oil immersion objective of which the 10 to the hundred times um, objectives are phase contrast objectives so this basically means that in with phase contrast i'm able to uh, look at specimens that are of very low contrast like for example bacteria or other unstained cells and then you're able to see them in a much be uh, better detail the image that you see right now here in the back is not in phase contrast it is in bright field because by simply changing the setting of the um, of the condenser here you are of course also able to use the microscope in regular bright field so you see it's a very useful device and I personally like a lot the magnification so especially the 20 times objective is a very nice one if you want to observe uh, water samples water microorganisms it's a very convenient uh, magnification to use now let's move on uh, the eyepieces of course uh, the field number is uh, 22 so it's uh, these are wide field eyepieces yes of course each eyepiece can be uh, adjusted uh, has a diopter adjustment so if your two um, eyes are different then you can adjust each one of them separately you can also of course uh, adjust the distance uh, of the eyepiece look and you're even, even able to to move it all the way up if you need a uh, increased uh, height yeah, so you see that it's uh, quite uh, yeah quite uh, quite nice in that sense the stage also very large uh, and uh, of course uh, a mechanical stage that's uh, very clear you you can also insert two slides at the same time uh, it's also very convenient um, and uh, then um, you can of course uh, have a course and a fine focus like pretty much every microscope has uh, has that uh, there's a slight difference though and uh, because uh, the plate covering the, um, the fine focus can be exchanged so depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed or on your personal preferences you are able to exchange uh, the plate and uh, this allows you either to control the fine focus with your right hand or your left hand um, um, as you like it uh, especially for oil immersion microscopy a focus lock is very convenient this basically means by uh, turning the focus lock on the microscope remembers the position of the stage and then you can lower it using the coarse focus and then you can apply the immersion oil and then you can raise it again there is no danger for you then in crashing the stage or the slide into the objective so it's of course it's not only a, a convenience feature but also of course a security feature uh, the tension the torque um, of the focus knob can also be adjusted there is a ring um, on the right side um, of the microscope so you see um, the is uh, quite a strong emphasis is placed on ergonomics and and on user friendly friendliness and, and usability um, and uh, also very interesting yeah look uh, at the display there is indeed a built-in display uh, which allows you to control not only the light intensity but also the color temperature of the led it's a three watts um, led and uh, you are able to adjust now whether you would like to have the led a little bit more into the blue or more to the red so uh, color temperature adjustments can be made uh, yeah this is a little bit more than just a convenience feature because uh, people who've uh, been staining uh, some specimens um, they 
may essentially need to adjust the color temperature if you want to see the stain just in the correct way. So there are indeed some special applications where this is also quite uh, quite needed. And yes, a smart light control is included. That's a very nice feature, especially if you want to do photography um, or videography like I'm doing. This basically means that you are able to um, adjust the uh, brightness setting for each objective separately. Normally, when you uh, change the magnification, you go up to higher magnification. Of course, the light intensity goes down because the higher you magnify, the darker the image becomes. But you're now able to program it in such a way that you have a compensation. So uh, when I switch uh, the magnification using uh, the revolving nose piece, there is a sensor in there that detects which um, objective is now in use and then it uh, adjusts the light uh, um, accordingly. Yeah, so this means that uh, I do not have to, when I change magnification, I do not have to keep on readjusting um, the, the light intensity. It does this uh, for me automatically. Of course, there's also a, a timer function, and a sleep function, and uh, yeah, all of these things as, um, as well. So very nice uh, because you have a maximum uh, control over the lighting. Curl illumination, of course, almost <laughs> not needed to mention that because microscopes of this uh, quality usually have curl illumination. That means that there is a field diaphragm present right on, on the lamp. And this means that um, um, I'm able to close the field diaphragm in order to get a better contrast um, and then to, in order to reduce the internal light reflections, especially important again if you do uh, photography. Yes, of course, you can see that I've already now mounted my HDMI camera over here. It's a trinocular um, head. So this means the light is also split and redirected partially um, uh, to the camera here. On the back of the microscope, there's a cable management system. So that means any extra wire or cable can be wrapped up there. So you see it's uh, quite a um, yeah, uh, quite a well thought through uh, um, device. Now, depending on your specific needs, the microscope can be configured. Uh, for example, if you're um, interested uh, more into uh, in bright field and you do not need uh, to get the face contrast objectives. Um, and uh, I've also uh, yeah, found out and that might be a, quite an interesting feature. If you want to, you can also upgrade this microscope to DIC, to Differential Interference Contrast Microscopy. Now, this is a really nice thing uh, because it gives you um, very colorful images, but also it gives you uh, also something that appears to be three dimensional. So it's a very um, pretty pictures you can uh, get this way um, and that's actually one of the few companies uh, that are offering DIC microscopes uh, in a actually I would say it's still an affordable price range so that is uh, if this is something that you're interested in then this is something that you might want to have a um, have a look at well, I did already mention, of course, face contrast. Uh, there are uh, different condensers that you can buy. And currently what I have installed here is uh, the face contrast condenser. So this means that when I change uh, the objective here, um, I also have to change now the setting of the uh, condenser um, so that the microscope objective and the condenser, condenser matches. And over the condenser, I'm also able to adjust the bright field setting. And this means if you do not want to look um, at face contrast then you just uh, switch over and rotate the condenser to the bright field the setting and then you get regular microscopy again just like you see here um, on, on the screen. Now the company Globe Scientific is uh, the partner company of Euromex uh, and uh, they are also distributing their microscopes but also other laboratory equipment and they've sent me and I would like to thank them for that. <laughs> they've sent me a whole box of uh, accessories uh, like microscope slides and cover glasses and pipettes and or plastic containers for collecting water samples. I would like to, of course, thank them as well. Um, and uh, yes, uh, I would link, simply like to um, say that if you are also in looking around for laboratory equipment and disposable material, um, and you can also uh, yeah check the website and they have a pretty big catalog there as well. And if you're also interested uh, in getting a little bit more information about this this specific model of the microscope the Euromex website of course has all of the things downloadable you can also see a list of all of the accessories um, and the Euromex Academy that's uh, basically the website where you can also get some uh, instructional videos um, and of course uh, um, all of the instruction manuals and the features that the microscope has to offer so it's all freely available there so I recommend that you have a look there if you're specifically interested in some more detailed aspects of this microscope
So what I'm going to do now, however, is I'm going to put a couple of uh, samples uh, under the microscope now and I'm going to start off uh, with a fairly difficult sample and these are basically my own epithelial cells from my mouth uh, and of course there are also some bacteria in there and that is actually the purpose of uh, why you would like to observe uh, these with face contrast because these unstained samples are very transparent and have low of low contrast but with face contrast we're able to make uh, them visible uh, quite well. So let's have a look. So I'm now going to show you a couple of uh, human cells under the microscope. This is a freshly prepared sample. These are epithelial cells uh, from the inside of the mouth and also bacteria that are visible. Uh, yes, uh, in phase contrast, uh, these cells are quite nicely visible. Also bacteria appear as uh, dark structures. In this case here, those tiny lines are rod shaped bacteria. They would be very difficult to see if not stained, but phase contrast allows you to see them nevertheless because uh, those tiny um, organisms cause a phase shift in the light which is then translated into a brightness difference by the phase contrast optics. Here are some more uh, of these epithelial cells. I'm focusing back and forth right now so that you see a little bit um, the depth of field. In the background again plenty of bacteria also nicely to see how the cell size uh, between human and bacterial cells uh, are different. Sometimes if there are clusters like this then you might want to break them apart um, a little bit more when preparing the sample but this has nothing to do now with the actual microscope optics uh, that we're testing. Yeah, as you can see, I'm going up now slowly with the magnification um, and the image is uh, quite uh, crisp and clear and qu I'm quite happy. This one over here is now the cross section of a pine leaf, a plant also in phase contrast now. And for comparison, this is uh, now in bright field and we're now going back uh, to phase contrast uh, and uh, we can now compare again how the different imaging techniques uh, are actually different. So it depends really on what you want to observe. Uh, you can essentially then choose the appropriate technique by simply rotating the condenser of the microscope. So we are again right now at the end of the video. would like to thank the company again uh, for having sent me this microscope, uh, which I really like <laughs> again. Um, I would like uh, to wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always and see you in the next video. Bye bye.